Martha Bassett. Just the first verse. Sound check. He tied a feather to the hood for to get you to look. By the time you know what took you, you already took. He's got a line in the water. He's a fisherman. All the music you're going to hear in between and on the radio was composed by this guy, Russell Kelly. <laughs> Welcome to the Martha Bassett Show, coming to you from the historic Reeves Theater in Elkin, North Carolina, a home for music in the heart of the foothills. <laughs> the Martha Bassett Show features national artists, local talent, and the music of Martha Bassett. Tonight on the show, we welcome Shoro Das Trace, Wyatt Easterling, and Couldn't Be Happier. It's a great night with some of the finest music you'll hear anywhere. Now let's have a big hand for Martha and the band playing the M. Ward song, Fisher of Men. <laughs> Wyatt Easterling's decades of success in the music industry includes a myriad of roles from performer to songwriter and as an executive of both a major record label and publishing company. Wyatt served as chief of A&R at Atlantic Records in, in the Nashville office. He then partnered with Miles Copeland, 
of Sting Police and IRS Records and formed the Nashville Division of Bugle Publishing Group and First Star Management as Director of Operations. Easterling brought Keith Urban to First Star Management and worked at length with Urban in the studio recording the project that landed him his first uh, major record deal with Warner Brother Records. In addition to ushering notable artists into the mainstream, Easterling and Copeland created Bugle Publishing Group's The Castle, the first of its kind songwriters retreat held yearly at Miles Copeland's Chateau Marouet in France. This event saw great success with a long list of artists and writers such as Keith Urban, Cher, Carol King, John Bon Jovi, Peter Frampton, Olivia Newton-John, and Stuart Copeland, to name just a few. After Bugle Publishing, Wyatt decided it was time to get back to songwriting and promptly signed with DreamWorks Publishing. Eventually, Wyatt opened Terra Nova Music, his own publishing company in Nashville, which has eight writers on staff. Wyatt released his fifth album titled From Where I Stand on July 29th, 2022, and is currently touring to support this critically acclaimed release. Please give a warm welcome to Mr. Wyatt Easterling. I've not yet learned how to put a guitar strap over my hat. My good friend Joe Newberry does it with such class and style. All right. So finally, I'm here. This is, oh yeah, I better put this in too. I've been looking forward to this show for some time. There we go. Uh, thank you. See, I need help. I need a handler. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know what? I'm going to start this. Um, I have two songs for you. And uh, I had the distinct pleasure of writing one afternoon with Jesse Coulter, who is, uh, was the widow of Waylon Jennings. And she and Waylon were married for, gosh, 35 years or so. And I was looking forward to this writing session, and I had it with Sonny Lemire, another great writer in Nashville. And we were sitting down in my office, and, and Jess, she's about this tall, she's not even bigger than a minute. She says, I'm kind of nervous to write with you guys, professional songwriters. And I looked at Sonny, and he looked at me, and I thought, she's, Jess, she's Jesse Coulter, for crying out loud. And then she goes, well, you know, I did write with Johnny, and, well, of course, Waylon all the time you know, just at the breakfast table, and Willie, and, you know, she starts naming off all these, and we looked at each other, and we thought, oh, oh, oh. And you're nervous? So, um, but what was fun about that afternoon is we spent a couple hours really just talking about her time as the only female outlaw with Waylon and, and uh, Christopherson and Cash, and, uh, yeah, it was a fun afternoon. So after a while, we came up with this hook, and it's called Sounds Like Life to Me. Looking back on the times we had Ain't it amazing we lived through all of that Though we had it all, though we had it made Somehow we got lost along the way If I knew then what I know now I'd have had it all figured out You try things on, you live and learn Some bridges you cross and some you burn you picked me up, you rolled me down, even danced me around and around in the rain. And like a song that plays on and on and on. Sometimes. 
sometimes a little off key. It sounds like life to me. It'd be so easy if it was all in black and white. You could draw a line between what's wrong and right. It's all that gray gets in the way. Gotta learn to take it all in your stride. You pick me up, you roll me down, and even dance me around and around in the rain. And like a song that plays on and on and on. Sometimes a little off key. It sounds like life to me. You pick me up, you roll me down, and even dance me around and around in the rain. Like a song that plays on and on and on. Sometimes a little off key. Sound like life to me. Sound like life to me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Our little songs, you know, we, we write them and we never know if they're good little animals or if they're going to grow up to be uh, trouble. <laughs> Speaking of, this is a song that I started, I was doing a photo shoot in Nashville, one of those things you have to kind of endure. And I had these two adorable young ladies, they were probably 24 or so, and uh, they were taking me around the countryside of, outside of Nashville and they would find these old dilapidated houses and not a really original, I thought, but they said, we want you to sit on these porches. And I said, honey, there's a no trespassing sign over there. I don't, I don't, I've lived here for 35 years. I, I don't know if we should do this or not. <laughs> and so um, we didn't get chased off, but they did leave me sitting there for a while. And this, this place was, I kept looking up thinking, ooh, this could come down any time. And uh, so I started thinking about and noodling around on the guitar. And I started thinking about all these beautiful places, especially in Nashville, around Music Row, these, these old homes that we used to use as offices that are now being torn down for condos, go figure. And so um, it's not an original title, but it's called This Old House. And uh, so I started it on that porch and it probably took me two years to finish, but here she goes. This old house is where my story first begins. I got the word that progress was closing in. There's a beat up bulldozer revving up in the drive. Strange to think this will be our final goodbye. It's a shame to see the old girl going out this way. So far removed from her glory days The vines have grown twisted across the front gate A homeless scene behind love and nature's crime tape This old house will always be a part of me now You can haul her away, but in my heart to remain, I'm leaving here with Polaroids of forgotten dreams. I outgrew like a pair of worn out jeans. Peering down the front hall behind these kicked in doors, the 
dust and rain have done a number on these hardwood floors. Some local kids have been camping out here and partying late. We used to do the same thing too at that age. Yes, we did. Watch the cars whizzing by out on the new interstate. Now some would call that progress and some would call it fate. I remember kissing Kate in a chance on that front porch swing. I heard she lost her battle back in the early spring. Still, it's gonna be all right. I can call her to mind any old time. I need a childhood friend. This old house will always be a part of me. Well, you can haul her away, but in my heart she'll remain. I'm leaving here with Polaroids of forgotten dreams. I outgrew like a pair of worn out jeans. This old house. It's where my story first begins. I got the word that progress was moving in. Thank you so very much. I'm gonna. <laughs> Wyatt Easterling. Thank you. by Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist Davy Medical Center made Becker's hospital review list of the top rated hospitals for patient experience state by state 2022. Atrium Health Wake Forest Baptist, where innovation and compassion meet. We would also like to welcome Lowe's Foods to the TMBS family. They are now providing our artist hospitality and there's no finer grocer and they are NC local. Lowe's Foods, your true hometown grocery. And remember, when you come to visit us in beautiful downtown Elkin, make sure you stop by the shops at 150 East Market Street, where you'll find Dirty Joe's Coffee, the Smoothie Station, and the Barkery, home of Melissa's all-natural pet treats. Approved by our cat, Scooter. The shops at 150 East Market Street, where you're sure to find something for everyone. Now let's get back to the show with Martha Bassett. Jody Hildebrand Lee and Jordan Crosby Lee are both law school graduates, but they didn't meet in a courtroom. They first met in Winston-Salem in 2013 at an old-time music circle. A career opportunity sent Jordan to Texas and separated the two friends until they serendipitously reconnected a year later. This new connection was so strong that Jordan packed up his dog and guitar and left both Texas and the practice of law for a life of music with Jody in North Carolina. Now they've got four dogs and a band together and they couldn't be happier. Described by Doug Davis of Flytrap Studios as The Violent Femmes meets Johnny and June, this married songwriting duo mixes up rock, pop, bluegrass, and folk into a Carolinian succotash you need to taste to understand. Backed by local legend Michael Bennett on bass, couldn't be happier's roll out an incredible sound, a set of great original songs, and a live show that all but dares you not to enjoy yourself. Please welcome them for the first time to our show, Couldn't Be Happier's. Hi guys. I think I, we know some of you. I probably need a hand finding where my uh, quarter inch cable is. <laughs> it seems to have gone missing. Oh, there we go. It's a strong start. 
This is kind of like living with Jordan. Ooh. Even better stuff. Yeah, there you go. Am I good? Good. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, not. not good. <laughs> this is all a test. Loosen you up a little bit. Let me know when. Oh, there we go. Yes. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I like this crowd. <laughs> well, we come up from uh, all the way uh, from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jody and I noticed there are a lot of songs about big cities and a lot of songs about small towns, but there are very few songs about... The mid-sized city. It's an <laughs> underrepresented group. Yes. And uh, Winston-Salem was our muse for this tune. I'm not going to start when it's all out of tune, so Jody, you're going to have to talk to me. I don't have any jokes or anything. I wasn't prepared for this. I feel like maybe next time I'll be a little bit better, but... For now, you're just going to have to listen to me drone on about something until Jordan finishes tuning his guitar. <laughs> okay. You know how everyone likes to complain about uh, Facebook ads? This was actually a Facebook ad. So it's probably just some random place I'd never heard of. I saw it and I was like, yeah, I think I want that. It's nice and colorful. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. You ready, baby? Once upon a time, tobacco built this town, litigation knocked it down a notch or two. We got a high rise, it's filling up again, it's been half abandoned since the banks withdrew. Tray Street was our favorite breakfast spot. Now it's a Cuban restaurant we like to sing. In the past 10 years, we've had eight rock and roll clubs. Just not at once, but the crowd don't change. Don't take me out to sing when there's nothing left of me but ash and dust. Spread me around a mid-sized city Hanging on the edge of Boomer Buzz Here we go Thank you. 
every year, uh, the Washington Post or the New York Times would have an article and it would say, top 10 cities on the verge of boom or bust. And um, every year Winston-Salem was on that list, it neither boomed nor busted. It just kept right on showing up. Um, I just, go ahead. Oh, so I was gonna say, I think every band has um, that pandemic song. We didn't write this about the pandemic. Um, but we wrote it during the pandemic. Um, and this, this song is called Lightning and Thunder. Um, and it's, it's about those moments where you know something's gonna happen and you don't know what's gonna happen, if it's gonna be bad or good, or if you're gonna make it. Um, it's like counting between the time you hear the thunder and by the time you actually see the lightning. Yeah, or in reverse, but. Or reverse, if you see the lightning, then you hear the thunder is what I meant to say. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I reverse that every time. It's okay. <laughs> Doctor points to a shadow on an x ray. A tropical storm gets a name. Mama gets a knock on her door much too late. Nobody knows the over under Living between lightning and thunder Below. After some clean time, it's a first shot of dough. Nobody knows the over under. Living between lightning and thunder. a little more guitar in my monitor when we get a second. Thanks, you guys. Hi, Martha. Hello. How are you? So I have some questions for you guys. So okay. uh, we talked about you uh, both going to law school. Are either of you actually practicing law? Yeah, I practice law. I think my boss is here tonight, oh, actually. Really? So <laughs> I don't want to embarrass him by saying his name is Joe Allman, so I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I know him. <laughs> so that, I bet that's the old time jam where you guys that's met. Right. That's right. Exactly. All right. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a small town. <laughs> and I am in legal education. So Jody's smarter than me and could both practice law and play music. I could not do that. So um, I took a job that had more like of a nine to five vibe to it so I could, you know, get home and uh, make it to gigs. Uh, no shame there. No shame. <laughs> so, um, 
you guys have really just been playing everywhere. I keep an eye on your schedule, and you're, you're doing so much. And you have four dogs. That's like having four children. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, people get upset when you say that, though. <laughs> people with children. <laughs> we have a good dog sitter. Um, we do. They are a lot of work, but... Um, we don't have to save up for college That's right. for them. Yeah. Right, and, exactly. Uh, exactly. I don't know, one of them's really smart, so I feel like maybe we should put <laughs> some money away for them. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, it, they're pretty easy once they uh, get get grown and trained, and um, yeah, they're pretty awesome. So well, tell I, me. We'll have a few more probably by the end a of the A few more. <laughs> we how try long to get another one. I was gonna say, how long has Mike been playing with you guys? About a year, I think, maybe a little less. Um, and actually, we, we sort of just sort of conscripted him. And we're, we knew Mike because he did our first music video. Uh -huh. We didn't even know he played music, and then we found out he was playing bass, and we're like, all right, come on over. You're going to play with us. Yeah, Mike's an AV guy who has a, a studio called Professor V Studios in Winston and does a lot of videography work and did all that for us. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. so then we said do some other things. Yeah, so no, you yeah. haven't had enough of us yet. Mike, I've talked to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's a good sport. He does not have a microphone, so he can't defend himself. He's too <laughs> funny. That's why we don't let him have a microphone. <laughs> well, what, what's the next song you'd like to share with us? This song is um, our apocalypse love song, and we actually wrote this before the pandemic, but we were like, you know. We actually wrote it about climate change yeah. and um, the like, impending end of the world. When the end of the world comes, we don't have any survival skills, um, but hopefully people will find us entertaining enough to take <laughs> us in. That's the plan. <laughs> and, and let me tell you, I think the plan will work because the first thing you do when you come home is you like watch television or you listen to music to unwind. unwind so. Every day our lives are filled with art and everybody needs that release, right? And so I think artists will still play an important role, even, even when the apocalypse comes. We'll be useful for something. Especially, right? especially yeah. because people won't have um, electricity in their homes maybe and they'll need live music. And you guys That's know right. all about that. <laughs> Thank you, I can't wait to hear it. Thanks, Martha. All right, this one is called Treehouse. What you gonna do when the water dries and the green of the land is ocean blue? What you gonna do when the water dries? Well, I'm gonna swim to you. What you gonna do when the swimming polar bears displaced and think I'm for your hair? Well, have no fear, I'll sing about you, my dear, and they'll escort me to you. What you gonna do when you get here? Gonna take you to a dry mountain top with enough wood to make a couple of guitars and extra for your own stomp box. You and I. the finest bamboo a frame what you gonna do about the hurricane hey let's throw street parade what you gonna do about the bandits when they come first up and they clean our clocks well i'm not scared to them i dare i'll cut them down with a karate chop 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 chop, chop. you and i hey damn it we'll survive the world's last brass band in the second line out of town. Well, let's find us a foyer in the clouds, build a spiral case to our old tree house. Hang a sign that says no oil and gas conglomerates allowed.
Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Couldn't be happier. Okay, folks. As I put my capo in place, I'll tell you a little bit about this next song, which I bet every one of you will know at least half, if not all, of the words to. When I was a kid in our family station wagon, there was one eight track that lived there for about three years. And I know all of the words to all of the songs on that eight track. It was uh, just one eight track? Just one eight track. Wow, solid. I don't know if it was like <laughs> stuck in there or something, or if, if, but my mom loved it, so it never came out. And um, I owe a lot to this artist. He taught me to sing harmonies because his songs were never in my keys, so I had to learn how to sing along with them. <laughs> and that art artist was the great John Denver. <laughs> so I want you to feel free to sing along with me. Love me. 
Thanks so much. Rex McGee and Deshaun Hickman. The Martha Bassett Show is supported in part by Explore Elkin. That's your one-stop travel source for the Yadkin Valley and beyond. If you're looking for hometown charm, historic landmarks, Main Street shopping, and fine dining, come stay a while in downtown Elkin. Elkin is a small town with a big community. So whether it's downtown events, music, hiking, or just paddling the Blue Water Trail, you can let Explore Elkin help you find your trail. Learn more on Facebook or at exploreelkin.com. Also, the Couldn't Be Happiers were sponsored tonight by a kind, anonymous donor. Thank you. Support for the Martha Bassett Show also comes from these fine downtown Elkin businesses. Mountain High Metals, The Elk Pharmacy, Yoga on Main, Coley Hall at the Liberty, Angry Troll Brewing, Yadkin Valley Quilts, The Wisdom Table, and Elkin's cutest little cocktail lounge, Fruition. What do we have next, Martha? For 19 years, Shuro Das Tres has been a group formed by three sisters, Corina, Leah, and Elisa, and their father, Eduardo. Sadly, their father died of COVID-19 in June of 2021. 2022 marked their 20th anniversary, a bittersweet moment without their father to celebrate the milestone. As children, they were encouraged to learn instruments as a hobby. But as they continually improved, their parents began driving them almost two hours weekly to Sao Paulo so that their daughters could attend choro circles and learn from the masters of the genre. The family immediately drew attention as it was not common to see three girls in that environment. Their band began receiving invitations to television and radio programs, and their first show was, contract was contracted by the U.S. Consulate. Their first recording, Meu Brasil Brasileiro, launched them to national programming in 2008, and they were awarded the best group of the year by the Sao Paulo Association of Art Critics. Now they've released 11 records, had eight international tours, and hundreds of concerts and workshops in different countries. It is such an honor to welcome them to our stage. This is Churo das Tres. Thank you. 
Obrigada. Thank you. That was 1 a 0, 1 to nothing by Pixinguinha and Benedito Lacerda, a standard of classic choro. This one is a composition by Elisa, made in honor of our grandfather. This is called Olho de Boi. That was beautiful. Elisa, did I hear that you you wrote that? Yes, I, it was a composition I've made on the tenor banjo, and which is different than the five-string <laughs> banjo. Uh -huh. <laughs>
Yes, and I play with the pick, and you're gonna see he playing with the fingers. Three fingers. Yes. <laughs> and that was made for our grandfather, who we live in a small town called Porto Feliz, and our grandfather had a little ranch, and he had chickens, uh, and th he had these special trees, these fruit trees called mm -hmm. jabuticaba olho de boi, uh -huh. and those were his little treasure. So the is that where it grows on the trunk? Yes. 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 I've seen pictures You've of that. seen those? Yeah. Amazing. It's yes. be yes. so beautiful. <laughs> so uh, these young women, Corina, Aliza, and Leah, have been uh, traveling in the U.S. since May. Yes. yes. In a motorhome with their mother, Christina, who's this sitting right over here. <laughs> <laughs> and two adorable dachshunds. <laughs> Lola and Bibi. Lola and Bibi. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was my next question. And I believe it was like 4 a.m. yesterday when uh, they started driving from Massachusetts. Cape Cod. Cape the Cod. beautiful Cape Cod. We were there. Our motorhome was at the shop. The mechanic was fixing brakes and, you know, some important things. And he, <laughs> and he, he was late. So I had to pick it up and, and then went back to my, my friend's house, Perry, and we loaded the RV with our stuff. And at 4 a.m. we woke stuff. up. Yeah, a lot of a lot of and stuff. our mechanic was late, and our friend Perry said, you have to tell him, you have to be in North Carolina. He <laughs> has to return the RV ready on Friday. And then Corina, we can't hurry Paul. We love him. He's our <laughs> mechanic. He, he has his own time. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you made it. <laughs> I drove like crazy from 4.30 a.m. to 8.30 p.m., uh, and then we slept on a truck stop, and we drove more five hours today, and here we are. <laughs> Thank you. With red lipstick and everything. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Can you tell all of us a little bit about Shoro, about the history and... Um... Sure. So Shoro is a music that was created in Brazil in the end of the 19th century. Um, Heitor Villa-Lobos, who was an important conductor and composer in Brazil, said that Choro is the essence, the musical essence of Brazilian soul. And Choro is basically a blend of the classical music, the music that came from Europe with the African drums, and some little other inf influences, uh, like there is a little bit of the native, a little bit of Lebanese, but very, very, the main two roots are um, classical and the African. Is it always uh, instrumental or sometimes vocal? Shoro is always instrumental. Uh, some people added lyrics to Shoro afterwards, but it was created in the beginning, it was a way of musicians to have fun and to challenge other musicians yeah, to play uh, and improvise and see who, who could play the most difficult um, pieces. And um, so it was more like a, a thing created for themselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, but it, it actually was the first music created in Brazil. Yeah, so. Right. They say that we became Brazilians through our ears. Before, Shoro, before music, we were several people from different, from different country livi living in the same land. After Shoro, we became Brazilians. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> well, uh, we're going to uh, do one more song in this set, which they have chosen for us. And it is not a Shoro piece. No. Will you tell us what it is? <laughs> tell Elisa, because it's, it's your fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, we were going to play at a bluegrass festival in Long, Long Island. Island. For the first time, we were going we were gonna to play at a bluegrass festival. And then the three of us, we were very nervous because 
We don't play bluegrass. <laughs> Everybody we, they didn't we like. We always met very nice bluegrass players That's in this true. country. They were they, always they the like sweetest. Sugar. Yeah. But we were afraid to have a shorter concert in the middle of the festival. But fortunately, the destiny was very nice to us. And one week before in Cape Cod, we went to our friend's house. He, he was going to have a house concert with the artist was the banjo player, Tony Trishka. Uh -huh. and, uh, and then he, we talked to him. He was super nice. He played a shoto for us. And, and I said, we are going to play the fest, a bluegrass festival. We need to learn how to play on bluegrass for them. <laughs> Please help us. And then he introduced us to Earl Scruggs. And then we started to listen to it. And then we decided to, to play this, uh, to learn this piece called Foggy Mountain Breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's three. Rex McGee picking a little. Obrigada. Yeah. Folks, there is more to come, but we're going to take a short intermission. Uh, take this opportunity to grab a drink, check out the merch table, and we'll see you back here in a few minutes. Welcome back to the second half of the Martha Bassett Show mm. in Rainy Elkin, featuring Choro Das Trace, Wyatt Easterling, and Couldn't Be Happier. <laughs> that fine band is joined by Mike Bennett. The band tonight is George Sluppick, Sarah Howell Miller, Rex McGee, Russell Kelly, Deshaun Hickman, and me, Pat Lawrence. 
Our interstitial music tonight was composed by Russell Kelly. Artist accommodations are provided by Three Trails. Lowe's Foods provided our hospitality. And remember, you can listen to us weekly on 88.5 WFDD. Follow the entire schedule, listen to fast radio shows, and subscribe to our podcast at MarthaBassettShow.com. Now, let's get back to the Reeve stage by giving the couldn't be happiers a big Elkin, North Carolina welcome. do a little love song for you guys. Is that cool? Yeah? All right. They're like, boo love. <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> what else do you do? <laughs> oh, you'll see. You'll see. <laughs> You drive me crazy, playing hard to get. I dig how I always lose. Oh, I'm so pathetic. Yeah, I dig the two you turn me into. Let's not bury the obvious. I am digging you. I've got a shovel that won't break. On the day it does, I'll quit working this way. So I'll be forever digging you. Cologne babies and wedding rings Yeah, I dig who you turn me into Let's not bury the obvious I am digging you I've got a shovel that won't break On the day it does I'll quit working this way So I'll be forever digging you Let's not bury the obvious I am digging you if I fall in this hole that I dug Please don't help me out, just cover me up Cause I've got nothing left to do Nothing left if I cannot be digging you And I've got a shovel that won't break On the day it does, I'll quit working this way So I'll be forever digging you Let's not bury the obvious, I am digging you. Let's not bury the obvious, I am so in love with you. Guess what? We have a non-love song for you guys. <laughs> See? Surprise! I guess it's kind of a love song. It's an environmental theme again. Um, I was actually sitting at a salon one day and I saw this plastic bag rolling across the parking lot. And I don't know why, but for the first time ever, it just sort of dawned on me that that plastic bag would probably outlive me. And I started thinking about all the things that little plastic bag would see and do in its plastic bag life. <laughs> <laughs> Probably kill some sea creatures. So yeah. don't be don't be fooled. This is not the plastic bag's not the hero of this song. Um, but that's when I decided to write this song. Um, this one's called the Plastic Bag Odyssey.
toiletries that I hung out in your bathroom contained your trash and old perfume. Next thing I'm blind out of a landfill, got stuck on a duck bill, had some time to kill. Now I'm tumbling through a parking lot, wondering why it's so damn hot. And he wore me as a necklace for a day or three before he set me free. He set me free. He set me free. I'm free. Now I'm lounging on the deserted beach. The moon and stars just out of my reach. But maybe one day I'll get launched into space and leave this world without a trace except for all the damage that I've done. Way back when I was young I'll never die, I'll never die I'll be here long after you're gone Watch the world burn See what else goes wrong I'll never die La da 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 I'll never die Here's just a day There is a day a year to me Well I don't really know Time is nothing I got plenty Will your kind survive Put your hands together for Couldn't Be Happiers. We were having a little dance party backstage during that one. <laughs> so um, this is part the part of the show where I was going to do a song with uh, the band, but we decided to invite Shoro Das Tres out to come and uh, we're going to do this together. We were emailing and they said, do you know Agua G. Beber? And I happen to know that one, so. That's what we're gonna do. This is a song by Tong Jobin. Okay, here we are, and I'm gonna play this instrument, it's called pandeiro, or a Brazilian tambourine, and this is the pandeiro that my dad used to play with us. So for 19 years he was sitting right here, playing it, smiling and whistling, and so every time I get to play it, I have him with me. Eu 
quis amar mais de mim mesmo E quis amar meu coração Mas o amor sabe um segredo O medo pode matar o seu coração Água de bebê You have no idea how much fun that was for me. <laughs> that was so much fun, I forgot what I was doing. The Martha Bassett Show comes to you from the Reeves Theater and Cafe, downtown Elkins' newly renovated landmark. Originally opened as an Art Deco movie theater in 1941, it was fully operational until 1977. And then it became the Elk Twin Cinema until 1994. Closed for decades, it was lovingly restored and reopened in 2018. The Reefs Theater has a vibrant lineup of artists all year round. On September 16th, come out and enjoy the Reeves Cabaret. It's the Summer Sizzle Show. Also, the Reeves Theater has recently launched the Reeves Downtown School of Music right up the street in the old Arts Council building. Through programs like the newly established Evy Good Scholarship Fund, they are a nonprofit dedicated to providing music lessons to all. All instruments, all ages instruction in group and individual lesson settings. You can learn old time, bluegrass, theory, composition, and hopefully choro someday. Learn more at reevesmusic.org. Let's have a big hand for our visitors, Choros Das Trace.
Obrigada, thank you. That was a classical piece called Tsardas by Chardas here in the US. We say Tsardas in Brazil. Um, by Vittorio Monti, an Italian. And we played it because it it's this kind of classical music has the spirit of Shuro, this thing of challenging musicians. So that's why we played it for you. Next one, she's gonna play on the accordion. And it's one of her compositions. It's called Baião de Luz. Baião is a style of music, a genre of music from northeastern Brazil. And de Luz means of light. So it's a Baião of light. So you can see like the, the dark, imagine the dark. And then towards the end of the piece, you can see the light breaking through the darkness and at the end it's all light. Obrigada, thank you. So we'll play Aquarela do Brasil and Brasileirinho. These two pieces, we've been playing them since we began to play concerts. And we never get tired of playing them because 
they are like a flight ticket to Brazil, you know? Yes. They, are, they are so representative for us. And today is Brazil Independence Day. So it's a very good song for today. I'd like to ask you guys to please sign our guest book. It's over there in the lobby uh, with the merch. We're going to be in this country for a whole year, traveling all around. So we have concerts in Fayetteville, here in North Carolina, in Tennessee, Chattanooga, Memphis, Nashville, and all the Chicago and Michigan and uh, next year we'll go to the West Coast. So maybe you have friends in these other areas that would like to hear us. So please let them know once we send you our emails, okay? And we have to say something in Portuguese because this concert is being uh, streamed on YouTube and every Thursday at 8 p.m. we stream um, a concert too on YouTube. Of course, we can't do that tonight. So our fans are watching us from Marta Bassett Show's YouTube channel. So, Oi, pessoal! Oi, pessoal! Beijo pra vocês! Grande abraço!
Chura das tres. Congratulations, ladies. The Martha Bassett Show is supported in part by Hugh Chatham Health. Hugh Chatham Health has provided high quality medical care for residents of Elkin, North Carolina and the Yadkin Valley area for over 90 years. And they've recently expanded into Virginia, providing greater access for the communities they serve. It's a private not-for-profit hospital. Hugh Chatham employs more than 900 and is served by more than 70 physicians, representing 27 specialties, delivering all of the quality medical services you and your family need. Learn more at HughChathamHealth.org. Also, we are proud to announce our partnership with Three Trails. That's your boutique hotel, steps from the Reeves Theater. It's located in the recently renovated bank building on the corner of Bridge and Main. It's Three Trails, part of the Carolina experience. These folks have designed 14 units with a modern flair, highlighting the building's architectural history. They also have a rooftop patio, and if you come to the Martha Bassett Show, you get 10% off your stay. Just use promo code MARTHA10. Learn more at thecarolinaexperience.com. You are listening to the Martha Bassett Show on National Public Radio, live from the Reeves Theater in Elkin, North Carolina. Now, let's get back to the show with Wyatt Easterling and this song he co-wrote with the great Dirks Bentley. It was the title to Dirks' platinum-selling album. The song is Modern Day Drifter. All right. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Pat. Can you hear my guitar? Okay. Could I have a little more guitar in the monitor, please? So while you guys were uh, at intermission, I ordered up some canoes for my merch table. So uh, I should be up there by the time we get out of here. My goodness, it's raining. <laughs> I was very honored when Dirks recorded this song because he's such a great songwriter himself. And uh, I'm gonna play it for you. I'm going to be a modern day drifter Get out while I can Trade in this life I've been living For a pocket full of sand And a modern day drifter Don't have to tell no one his plan I'm gonna find that lost stretch of highway where no one knows my name. Where as long as the sky just goes on, and it's never the same. And then a modern day drifter to never complain. Bye bye high life feels like the right time to say so long keep on going strong and I'll just I'll keep on Gonna be a modern day drifter Get out while I can I slip this ring off my finger Everybody understands That a modern day drifter's got nothing but time on his hands Bye, bye, 
To say so long, I'll keep on going strong, and I'll just I keep on being gone. Gonna be a modern day drifter, get out while I can. I'll slip this ring off my finger. Everybody understands that a modern day drift has got nothing but time on his hands. A modern day drifter, he's got nothing but time on his hands. Thank you. Thank you, thank you very much. We may have to extend this show for a little bit from the sounds of it. <laughs> so I have a new album, and I'm so happy that I can call it an album because forever I've been calling them CDs, which is not correct. And uh, I, this is what I did over the... the uh, COVID vacation I took. And I was very blessed because I had all the equipment at home, so I fashioned a little studio in my bedroom, or my guest room. I called it Second Bedroom Studios. And I uh, recorded this album. It's called From Where I Stand. I'd get out to Nashville with um, these guitar tracks, and then we'd all sit around with masks on in the studio, and, and uh, I'd get drummers and bass players to play to my guitar tracks. It was quite a lot of fun, but I'm glad it's over with and that we can now meet just like this. This tune is called From Where I Stand. Now watching the news is giving me the blues What a tangled web they weave And try as they might, I still know wrong from right. And here's what I believe from where I stand. But what is worth, we ain't got much time on earth. From where I stand, it's so clear. It's a miracle we're here to have a chance to have some fun, do some good, to love someone. So come on and take my hand and see what I see from where I stand. When you go it alone, this world is one cold stone. So won't you keep me company? Yeah. And when we open our eyes to see the next sunrise. There's no place I'd rather be from where I stand. For what is worth, we ain't got much time on earth. From where I stand, it's so clear. It's a miracle we're here to have a chance to have some fun, do some good, love someone. So come on and take my hand and see what I see from where I Stand. The world outside is so divided. Let's leave it all behind. You lock the door and I'll pull the curtains. Together we'll be just fine. When the sun lights up the morning, we'll have a beautiful view. As 
There's going to be a new day dawning, and I want to face it with you. From where I stand, for what it's worth, we ain't got much time on earth. From where I stand, it's so clear, it's a miracle we're here to have a chance to have some fun, do some good, love someone. So come on, take my hand and see what I see. From where I stand, for what it's worth, we ain't got much time on earth. From where I stand, it's so clear. It's a miracle we're here to have a chance to have some fun, do some good, love someone. So come on, take my hand and see what I see. From where I stand. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, Wyatt. Uh, you're welcome. So when I uh, read your bio earlier or your introduction, I mean, you um, have been having the most varied musical career that I might have ever heard. Uh, I call it musical chairs. <laughs> Here, could you hold this? Yes, I could. So, um. <laughs> I think I may have lost my hat. <laughs> it looks good on you. Thank you. So you had the uh, songwriters workshop in France. I understand you are uh, continuing uh, doing songwriters workshops in I the am. U.S. Tell us a little I bit am. about that. What are they called? Well, I have Song Travelers. Song uh, Travelers. It's a Song Travelers uh, songwriting retreat. This year we're doing it in Northeast Maryland. Uh -huh. This beautiful, um, uh, it's called Eagle Point. And I thought, well, how interesting. Uh, the other one. Oh, other one. Um, they called it Eagle Point. And then I was standing out having coffee one morning. And I looked up and this bald eagle came right by. And I went, oh, okay. That's why. That's why it's called Eagle Point. <laughs> but I have Joe Newberry. Uh, as well as uh, Abigail Dowd uh -huh. will be my co-instructors. And that's going to be um, November 2nd through the 6th. And it's, if, you, if you ever wanted to write a song, this is your chance. These, these are great songwriters, and they'll teach you how. Abigail Dowd was on the show uh, about three years ago, I think. And she's how I found out about you, because oh. she was singing on, on your sang, yeah. most recent record. She and, and Jess Klein. Both, Jess yeah. Klein, who has also been on the show. Ah. Lovely ladies, so. just two of my favorites. Yes, beautiful people. Mm. And I understand, yes. <laughs> mm, yes. I understand you were the first to sign Paul Thorne. I did, as a matter of fact, yes. And he's a, yeah. a big favorite here at the Reeves oh, Theater. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Paul's a great guy. I, um, it, there was a period of my time when I was kind of behind the desk, and, and um, um, somebody brought a couple of Paul's songs to me, and, and I thought, this guy's great. And I was actually at the re writing retreat in France when I caught wind that somebody else was going to sign him. So I, I flew home the next day and drove down to Tupelo, Mississippi. And uh, Paul was there with, with Billy Maddox, his co-writer and producer. And, and um, it was at a pizza hut. And it was me and Paul was in the corner playing and, and one other table of, of like a parents with two kids eating pizza. And that was it. And I, I looked at him, I thought, oh my God, this guy is amazing. Even back then, I mean, this was at the, the very beginning. And you know, he used to be a boxer. Uh -huh. I don't know if you knew that. And uh, <laughs> he went all the way to Atlantic City and fought Roberto Duran. Really? Uh, he did. And, and when, when I finally got him a record deal on A&M Records, they used all the footage from that. It was really cool because he's in the wow. ring with Roberto Duran. But as Paul would say, he says, I'm a bleeder. I couldn't play for long because the ref kept pulling me out. 
<laughs> well, to our good luck and fortune. So, but yeah, I mean, it was um, it was a wonderful time to I was able to go in the studio with Paul and Billy and and uh, we recorded a, an album called Hammer and Nail. And uh, I noticed in the back you've got a picture. I uh -huh. bet he knows. Uh, that Paul did. He's yes. an amazing artist. I don't know if you know that, a visual artist. One of he, his he, paintings he, is, is uh, uh, folk behind art. this door over here. <laughs> and uh, that, that was one of the, the songs I was privileged to uh, produce. And um, yeah, great guy. Love will, him. Will you write beautiful songs uh, oh, thank as you. well? And thank you. We're so happy to have you here. I'm so glad to finally get to come up here and play this show. All my friends have, have been up here and they keep saying, you got to get on Martha Bassett's show. I said, well, I'm finally, and here we are. connected. <laughs> I saw him um, recording us uh, during rehearsal earlier to send to his son, who is a touring heavy metal singer. <laughs> yes, he is. Yeah. Yes, he is. Which both his mom and dad were, were um, country songwriters. <laughs> so go figure. You know, our kids, they want to do the exact opposite of what we do. So. <laughs> and he does. And, and he's great at it, and I love him dearly. He's, he's just so much fun. He's a good young man. I'm really of I'm proud of him. Is. Yeah. <laughs> so. Well, um, what's uh, the song that we're going to end with? Uh, yes. This so, I, I have a song. It's a special song for me because I wrote it for a friend of mine that is no longer with us. His name was Chuck McDowell, and I met him at one of the songwriting retreats. Oh. And he was just such an incredible human being, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I, I miss him dearly. Um, I went to his memorial service down in Atlanta. And there were 1,500 people there. And I thought, wow. wow, this guy had such an impact on folks. He was such a generous, giving person. And uh, so this song is dedicated to Chuck. It's called Love Says It Best. Joey? With my Cracker Jack band back here. <laughs> I once asked a friend of mine how he could stay so calm in the face of another's anger he replied with his usual charm said I'm not here to judge another to shame them or to be See, when I was just a child, I was taught the fruits of the golden rule. You do unto others, should have them do unto you. They sound old-fashioned, but it'll always ring true. Open your heart and let go of the rest. All you have to do is try. Love says it best. A man of faith like no other man I've ever known. With an unshakable doorway, they were never alone. And the lessons that he taught me are still trying hard to break through. I still struggle with the notion I could have that same faith. And do unto others as you have them do unto you. They sound old fashioned, but it'll always ring true. Open your heart, let go of. 
All you have to do is try Love says it best 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 When a harsh word is spoken A promise is broken You begin to wonder Love one another We're all sisters and brothers We're here to help each other That's what we're meant to do Open your heart Let go All you have to do is try Love says it best All you have to do is try Love says it best 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 Why Easterland Thank you so very much And thank you Martha what a fun evening. <laughs> I'd like to invite everyone else to come back out on the stage. Shoro das tres. Couldn't be happier. What an amazing day we've had today. It has been so much fun getting to know these great folks, and um, every, all the uh, artists today are brand new to the show, so it's really been fun for all of us to get to know each other and make music together, and thank you so much for supporting this. <laughs> Earlier, we uh, were talking about Jody and Jordan meeting at an old-time jam, and it was called um, the unbroken, the, unbroken the unbroken circle. And in honor of that, we're going yeah. to do a, a song that you probably all know called Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Feel free to sing along with us. As a matter of fact, don't feel free. Please, please sing along with us, especially on the choruses. And we're going to uh, ask Deshaun Hickman to kick this one off.
I could not hide my sorrow when they laid her in the grave. Will the circle be unbroken by and by, Lord, by and by? Is a better home awaiting in the sky, Lord, in the sky? Thank you all for tuning in and to our beautiful live audience. Let's hear it for Choro Das Tres, Wyatt Easterling, and couldn't be happier. How about our fearless leader, Martha Bassett? Come chat with us in the lobby. It's still raining here in Elkin. A big thanks to the Reeves Theater and staff and the beautiful town of Elkin, North Carolina. Jeff Irving and Brady Reed handled the live sound. James Rickey did our broadcast recording. Nick Bassett, Eric Gallagher, and Danny Carr provided our video broadcast. And Sam Schumacher of Steel String Photography did our pictures. Bevan Dyer managed the stage, and Miranda Carr is out there selling the merch. It's the Martha Bassett Show. It's good music for good people. Thank you so much for joining us. Drive safe. Come back and see us soon. Come chat with us in the lobby.